you go to the gym to gain muscle. Time is passing and your gains are slowing down. And then you hit a plateau. You do what everybody says and increase your volume. Nothing happens. So then you increase your reps. Nothing happens. Try intensifiers like drop set. Nothing happens. Add more frequency. Nothing happens. But what if the answer was from of you the whole time? The reason you don't improve anymore is because you train like a bitch. For a long time, experts said that leave free in the tank and it's going to be the same as going to failure. But this is wrong. And you don't even need to be a scientist to see the difference. Look at me going for RIR free. If I stop here, it was nothing. It was child's play. If I go to RIR1, I'm more or less bleeding from my pores. But guess what? Going to RIR0 is earth and sky difference from leaving one in the tank. Why would three in the tank build similar amount of muscle than leaving nothing in the tank? You could probably say that, oh, but if you increase the volume, you can equate the amount of effective reps you are getting. And I don't give a shit. You can match the effective reps, but you are not going to match the amount of muscle you will build with that. We have a person who do two sets to failure, and the other one is doing five sets in the RIR3. I promise you, the person who did less sets is going to be way bigger. And this is where people lose their shit and say, oh, but science says, science says. Look, we both know that you never read a single science article in your life. And there is nothing wrong with that. Your only goal is to get jacked. But you wouldn't believe how many times experts misread and misrepresent science and science literature. And it is not uncommon. But you know what? Let's nerd out. There is this sexy meta regression that you can download, read it through, but they just check the proximity to failure between strength and hypertrophy. And for strength, it seems like going to failure had a negative effect on your absolute strength. But since we don't train for strength only, nobody cares. But for hypertrophy, look at this line. This is not linear. This is exponential to failure. This is so gorgeous. So that means that if you stop that RIR free, and let's be honest, most people overestimate how close they are to failure, then you made close to shit gains. On and then gone, and this last two or three or four repetitions, that's what makes actually the muscle then grow. And that uh, divides then one from a champion and one from not being a champion. Look, Arnold knew it, and everybody in his era knew it, and they looked amazing. But now you are probably wondering, was Mike Menzer right? He was a genius, decades ahead of his time. And unfortunately, even right now, ahead of most people. He only did one to two sets with the goal of obliterating his muscles and it worked. If you hit a plateau, it's not because you stop using the latest trend, it's because you stop training hard. Adding frequency is not going to help. Adding endless volume is not going to help. Intensifiers are not going to help. The only thing that can help you is learning how to push your sets to failure. All of them. And you don't need to worry about overtraining. It won't happen. The amount of sets you can do to failure is going to be low, around 2-3 to three sets. And towards the end of your session, for like the last two exercises, it is only going to be 1-2 to two sets. But even then, your gains are going to skyrocket. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, talk to you in the next one.